Globeerviews.com. All right, tonight, Trogues Brewing Company. Uh, they're really stepping up their game here. We've reviewed a few of their beers this year, and they have gotten a lot better over the, over the, uh, just the year, quite honestly. Um, this is a blizzard of hops. This is one of their seasonal, this is their winter, uh, Ale that they're uh, bringing out here. So uh, ABVs are 6.4%. IBUs are 80. Um, great selection of hops here. Centennial, Galaxy, Chinook, and El Dorado. Um, the thing about this is, um, if you read on your little the website, and of course on the side of the bottle it says, it's a winter IPA, IPA to toast the growers around the world for another successful harvest. So a lot of the winter uh, seasonals take a lot of the, the fruits that are uh, that are not going to be available through the winter and even the spring months and they harvest them and that's where a lot of the, the winter beers have a lot more of the kind of dark fruit flavors a lot of the it, they're obviously darker in nature because it's colder um, but this is interesting because it says we take the storm of the hockey and the citrus and the pine notes um, in a bright reminder that the end of the hop cycle is only the beginning, hence winter. So yes, right now um, it's November, all the hops are out of the fields. So all the wet hop um, IPAs, where they cut them and they brew them within 24 hours, those are all bottled, it's done. All the hops on the vines, typically where they grow in higher altitudes and in colder climates, they're, they're fried at this point. So this is the beginning of the new season, and I think that's totally perfect of a for a description of the blizzard of the hops. So the blizzard is coming, the hops are gone, but it's the beginning of the next season. So that's my take on that. I think it's a phenomenal name for a seasonal winter. Um, so this came in a six pack. Um, I believe it was thirteen or fourteen dollars. Um, I have had one of these before. Um, it's very hazy, as you can see. It's um, kind of got a very light, uh, kind of yellowish color to it. Almost looks like a like a citrus drink, um, but it's very cloudy. There's nothing residual floating around, so it's not really that true unfiltered. But it it definitely has a lot of haziness. I know the light is not perfect, but a um, little bit of a foamy head on it. Not too much. Now the smell is what's interesting. So. There's a lot of citrus coming through here. Tons of lemon, tons of just orange, and it's got this kind of really neat kind of just like citrus juice background to it. Now, the hops I just listed, they're in there. You can definitely smell some of those hops. Uh, the citra hops are pretty easy to recognize. Some of the more pungent hops in there, you can kind of tell in the background. But the, the aroma is very, very nice for what it is. And it's deceiving by how cloudy it is and how light it is. It definitely has a much more pronounced aroma uh, for what it looks like. So, again, very, very unfiltered. This I can't see my hand. This is a very cloudy beer. However, we're going to see what it tastes like. Cheers. Wow, that's different. That's really good. It's very earthy. Um, it's got a lot of pine notes to it, believe it or not. We're looking for a winter ale heel here, but it definitely has a lot of characteristics of that earthy tone to it. Lots of citrus at the beginning. It's not overpowering. It's definitely masked by this unfiltered kind of background to it. You can definitely taste the hops, though. I mean, blizzard of hops. This is that last punch before we regrow them in the, uh, in the spring and the summer. And there definitely is a really, really good kind of background of hops. Now I'm going to cheat and I'm going to look again because I believe I told you there were El Dorado. Yeah, you can taste El Dorado. Yeah, you can definitely taste the El Dorado hops in here and the Galaxy hops. They're they're more of that kind of that piney punch. They're they're they've got this kind of a kind of grassy notes as people call it, and it is definitely apparent in here. Um, I like this actually. This is um, normally if someone if I poured a beer that was this cloudy, I'd be kind of hesitant. Excuse me, hesitant <clears throat> that there were a lot of characteristics in there that I was getting excited about. Um, this tastes really good. It's a good mix. It's a good. It's blended well. I, I get what they're going after. 
They want a little bit more of a of a bigger mouth feel with some really pungent hops, um, with a little bit of that that citrus on the front end, with this unfiltered aspect to it that a lot of beers don't do well. A lot of these beers like this are what I call trash. They just they tried it, it, it wasn't hitting on all levels. <clears throat> Typically, they're not worth trying. Um, I like this. I would buy this again. We ran our beers between one and five. I would probably give this at least a three and a half. It's not bad at all. It's different. Um, it's unique in this class because we're talking now end of the year, end of the hop season, and you're pounding us with this very good hop flavor, very unfiltered with this kind of crazy mix of hops, but also some fruitiness to it. So again, I mean, I started off this video with Trogues has done a lot of things very good this year. This is very well done. This is hard to do, and they've done a very good job of it. So again, I would rate this at least a three and a half, if not almost close to a four, for what it is. For a winter IPA that's got good hop flavor, this is a really, really good representation of how to do it. So again, keep it up. Uh, very impressed. Let us know if you tried it in the comments on our YouTube channel or website. We upload all the time. Appreciate you watching, and as always, we will see you again real soon. Cheers.